They're getting all handsomed up and... Spiffy, diffy, and dapper. Yeah, that's right. Doing my thing in the white. Oh, that's nice. So soft. Oh, how cute. That's hot. That looks great on you. Oh, that fits you perfectly. I feel like we just didn't stop. You know, like over the years, I've done a few other um, television related projects, and I feel like it just didn't stop. But doing it again with the boys and, you know, having everybody take over the house, and it becomes, it's like a flashback. It's, it's almost like it's surreal, but so familiar that. I don't think there was ever, you know, there was a little bit of prep, a little bit of apprehension a day or two before. Then when the morning of, God, just slid right into it like it was old, you know, an old shoe, an old comfortable shoe, and had a great time. But watching it, I did get a little mellow, you know, a little melancholy, I should say. Um, you know, it takes you back to a time. I, I'm looking at them, and they were babies, you know, on the screen. And I'm looking at them now, and they're young men. And that's great. But it's I was a little wistful. I was wistful. You know, I, I, I guess every parent says, I, I'd love for the children to stay children. But, you know, they grow. I say they're like grass. You know, you water them, they grow. I still can't believe the way you would freak out whenever anyone used your hair gel. Where's Frank? Uh, use my gel? No. Who used this gel? I got a full bottle. Who used this gel? Who used this gel? I have no clue. Was I in your bathroom all the time? Be quiet. I'm not talking to you. I swear, Grandpa, I didn't use this gel. Okay. I might Did I not use Grandpa's? I mean, after you jumped, you had to use your hair gel. Yeah, I didn't use your hair gel. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I don't have any gel. Why don't I tell you? I'll find gel. Where is it? Your son used my gel. Frank. Frank. All right. So what's the big? Who is? I don't know. What is myself? I'll find gel. I need this gel. I got some in my car. Hear me yelling. You want mine? You came to this house. Same thing. Cause I got hundred kids sitting there. I don't want to hear it. I got. Never want to hear. I'll never forget that day after the premiere. It was, um, we premiered on a Monday night and it was a Tuesday interview and I think we were doing it with, um, it was supposed to be Diane Sawyer and I think it was uh, Al, uh, Al Roker's wife and um, she came in, yeah, Cookie Roberts, and she came into my living room, we were sitting all set up and she turns to me, somebody got a phone call and whatever happened, they were buzzing, buzzing, my phones were ringing off the hook in the house and I remember them unplugging them. And everybody running in and saying they stopped the entire set and they came in and said, great news. That was the network, your agent, the manager, the head of publicity. Um, it broke all of the records at the network. And I went, wait, what? And she said, yeah, it, it premiered last at the premiere, you know, broke all of the records and they've never seen. And I remember just sitting in that chair and going, okay, now what? 17. <laughs> How old were you? I don't know. I'm a year older than him. <laughs> <laughs> How old am I? How old were you when we started the show? <laughs> 28? Yeah. 29? If you haven't changed, they won't recognize us. I look like I ate my old self. I was bigger then and I'm bigger now. Yeah, I know. Take it easy. He's still in the shadows. Come with us to this fancy sports club. I work out in a real gym. Yeah, I know. Regrets? None. Um, surprises? Lots. Apprehension? Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, I think I was probably the most surprised that this, this thing kind of caught on. Back then, it wasn't, no one was doing, you know, reality shows. That was like taboo. It's like, how could you? Everybody would look at me and say, my celebrity friends would say, are you losing your mind? How would you let anybody into your, you know, homes? How could you let, why would you? Well, two years later, those same celebrities were kind of banging down the doors at the networks and going, pick me, pick me. So, you know, interesting. Ooh. That's hot. The Gotti men just, they're sharp dresses. I know these kids always were. They found their own style. 
they're very different in their styles. Yeah, you say that as we're both wearing yes, the same Yes, I noticed shoes that, right now. yes. We actually both bought each other Christmas gifts or whatever it was. And you bought each other the same, same thing. Shoes. Same shoes. But you still have a different style. You were so classic that the gel company we came forward and wanted company. the three of you to represent uh, 